laugh at what you just did. It's <laughs> trying to express my feelings. <laughs> synthetic and it doesn't hold rosin for very long. It lasts when I beat the crap out of it, but I get to do this nice little meditative practice of like painting the rosin onto it. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, it's like a metaphor. I appreciate the whole experience of tuning it, painting the rosin on. Yeah. Whether you intend it or not, it feels like part of it. Oh yeah, there's there's a whole like uh, discourse in theater of mm -hmm. showing the audience like the full process and not just showing them the bits that they're supposed to see. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting conversation. Am I imagining it or can I smell it? Is it smell? I have have no idea. Okay, maybe I'm imagining. I would be I would be impressed if if, if it reached you okay. at this distance. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know anything about that. How are people's stamina holding up? Like this is one of my first times to play for this length of time. And I'm really curious like how your focus is, your Concentration, just just general morale. <laughs> you know, I was I was um, when I was outside. I was um, I was actually talking to Emily a little bit about that, and uh, and I guess what the, 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 just to make it a little bit short, uh, we were saying that. Maybe the word, there's a problem with the word music. And that it, maybe that leaves out too much. And, uh, and, you know, and then we started talking about the word precious, and then that your music isn't precious. Huh. As a, as a, as a very good thing. <laughs> Yet, we couldn't come up with an antonym to precious that wasn't... Pejorative. Yeah. yeah. It was, you know, there's... No, I, I, don't, I don't like... Ephemeral. Well, it's funny, you know, we call precious jewels and babies, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but, um... So you'd like to music to a baby, I swear. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess all this to say is that your performance doesn't really put the kind of pressure, pressure, uh, pressure on me as an audience to, uh, you know, I, 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 throughout the course of the performance, I paid attention very intensely, I closed my eyes. I've looked at you, I've, I've drawn, I've done all these different things, and I felt that was, your attitude was very liberating uh, in that sense, that I don't, I don't feel like I'm obligated to, and, that, and then that led me to think that maybe there's music that doesn't really want to come inside your head, maybe there's music that likes to stay around you, that makes a space. Uh, that maybe we're, we're too used to music that you know, tries to come in, go in, and now you can't get rid of it. <laughs> I, am so, kind of, I am so I am so struck by that. insane in a way. Yeah. But um, on the other hand, maybe there's a music that doesn't you know doesn't really need to. Yeah. Maybe it can stay over. You don't really need to pay attention to it for it to affect you. It affects you in different in a different way. It doesn't like stick its hand inside you. It, uh, you know, it it's very visceral imagery. Yeah, well, it, it, <laughs> but, it, but, you know, it, I think uh, I guess I'm, I'm thinking dance inside. Uh, I'm why without I'm all sorts of things. I'm trying to use, <laughs> use the word, right? Uh, uh, what? what, what, what? <laughs> I said I'm <laughs> thinking all sorts of things. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but I'm uh, not complaining. <laughs> well, uh, no, I. Um, there's an entire conversation that I have with a lot of my music colleagues about. How do I? How is my music a feminist? Which is a very interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. And talking about binaries is one thing where, like, I feel like I. You, you felt very freed at the beginning of the concert. You commented, about, which I really strongly resonate with. And also this this non intrusiveness 
um, and, 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 and sort of like, almost like compassionate, like, mm. like allowing you to do whatever you need to do in that space, mm. and it's going to continue to do what it does, and it doesn't like need your permission, but it also doesn't like, it, it's very interesting, it's very yeah. interesting oh, Um, I just want to say in terms of um, the length of the concert and the, the concentration and focus piece that um, I think, I mean, you know, when, when things start to feel very long to me, I have an easy time tuning out. And I think for me that what's really holding me and um, keeping me from doing that is um, the fact that the whole thing feels like a conversation, um, both the dialogue that you're having with us, literally, and also the music itself feels like a conversation with the audience. And I think that that's really keeping me captivated. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't feel like it's um, dragging at all, because it's so much a push and pull. It's like one of those late night conversations, and you're drinking wine, you're telling the story, and you're like, oh man. <laughs> Oh shit, three hours passed. Whoa! <laughs> One thing about Sarah's music is oftentimes performers are on stage and they're playing out to you. And they don't really, there isn't a conversation. And with Sarah's music, I always feel like you're reacting to the listeners. And, and that's a very different thing because usually performers are can be very arrogant. They get up and they're doing their thing, and it's like you just shut up. And and Keith Jarrett said, if you take another picture, we're fucking leaving.